July 27th. The time is 3.30 in the morning. Kia just got admitted to the hospital. She's five centimeters dilated. The last update she got was she was two centimeters dilated, so the actual due date was in August, late August. But they say twins come early, so it's natural. Yeah, I pray for Kia. Y'all know she's strong, but. Huh? Not doing this again. <laughs> Steady on your feet. Huh? You feel steady on your feet though? Oh yeah. Baby, you need help? So, I was gonna stay up and edit, but it's four o'clock in the morning. And right now, my kid is taking a shower. She gotta get her back up and get back in bed. So, this is where I'm gonna be at for the night. Kids are here. I'm watching the TV. I keep y'all updated, but right now we're tired. Like we've been out, we just came from eating at the Cheesecake Factory. This is the second time that it's been her last meal before she gave birth. <laughs> Every time, it's crazy, but we're gonna get some Z's. And then they got her hooked up on the baby one, two. This is baby B, this is baby A. But they always have a difficult time trying to get baby A one or two. And Kia, she's been at uh, five centimeters for a while now, and just, you know, I think she's trying to get them to um, break her water for you, right? Yeah, she's just in pain. And she haven't got no epidural or anything like that. She's been going through this all night. She's strong. This girl made them folks and hook her just so she can get on TikTok. <laughs> What? She ain't got on no baby monitors and that thing. Mom, so how are you She on TikTok. Come on, baby. Let's film some TikToks. Okay. I wish they would just pop my water. Why they won't? Because I'm early. Oh. They want to keep a pill for like 10 days. I'm not going for that. I mean. They told me I was in preacher labor. Go through a room. But yeah, once they did whatever they did, like they they went away, they subsided. Oh wow! Really? Uh, moving around, get in there, get in your hips, okay? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Loosen yeah. it up. Oh. And maybe give it up. <laughs> you want to try that too bad? I do. I do. I do. Our major team meetings and figure out what we can agree upon. He just lost the rest of um, her mucus plug. And right now she's going on a walk. She's trying to get her water to break. Okay, so they're gonna, they decided that they're gonna go ahead and do the epidural and go ahead and let me get a. Um, break your water. Break my water. I'm at a six centimeters. About to take a shower, kind of freshen up, and then get this C-section. So, C-section. I mean, get this. Uh, <laughs> Ever do Please forbid that. Yeah. Today's July 28th, which is my brother's birthday. My, <laughs> my. Mm -mm. How she not your brother? I don't know. I'm just laying on the pad. You want to lay on the pad? Yeah. That's okay. 
You okay? This is the uh, epidural prep, but she don't know if she want to do epidural. I don't know what y'all think. No, I'm just kidding. She kind of saying that she want to do natural, natural, but I'm like, bro, that's two babies, and I'm not saying that this beautiful, strong woman can't do it. I'm just saying, like, do you want to do that? I don't, but then I feel like everything will go much easier if I don't do the epidural. Why? Because you'll be able to get up and walk around and look at them. I'm going to be able to get up and walk around and look at them. Because I don't want I don't want them just, people just touching all over my babies. I don't like that. I don't want all them spirits on my baby. We won't have no spirits on our baby. The spirits are touching them. Soul, spirits, nurses, they all the same. I need a, just, I need to see the team. Team needs to come Bring out the mother <laughs> team. The team needs to come meet me. Cause I need to see what the what, what's gonna happen. It ain't talking about they gonna have to once I push out one of my babies, one baby gonna have to go to a whole nother room. Like No she not. Hell no. That's only because they're trying to The other room is yeah, is under small. construction. The, the one that the, can fit the, both of them yeah. is under construction. But they be saying stuff is small and stuff do not be small. It don't be small. It don't be small. Because they said that triage room was, and it was small, not small and it was the size of this room almost. Exactly. But let me see the room. I can tell you if it's small. <laughs> Shit, let me put I can tell you who can fit in that room. Shit, I'll push that motherfucker in there. Oh, God. Shit. Scoot over. Okay. Let me play this shit. You stand right there. You right there. That's enough. All you gonna stand well, even with that one, they still insist you go to the operating room. Well, no, I'm just saying I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I was just gonna push. She out. wouldn't be in a rush to just get up and walk around at that point. Of she course. could just relax and know that her yeah. babies are right there in her yes. face. So, because with her, I was like, <laughs> yeah, I wanted to get out the room so bad. I was like, I'm fine. I can walk in there and put my legs right. And yeah. I yeah. The chair and he was like, <laughs> yeah, they're heavy. Now that you got your epidural, how you feel? Mm -hmm. Feel good. Baby's back on the monitor. I feel better. Feel better? Less pain? Yeah, pain is better. Now I just feel up, what's up here, but yeah, the bottom. like kind of here down. Well, that's good. Water. That's just water. Hydration. Yeah. Do I have any more water? Yes, you got a lot of water. You want some? Yeah, can when you take my cup, can you give me, can I have water? Yeah. Okay. Is it ice in, in, yeah. in the room? Yeah, you just put it next to the water. Yeah, you just put it under as a sensor. Yeah. Okay, I'll bring you a cup. What if she just popped her own bag? <laughs> <laughs> she might. Yeah. <laughs> like trying to grab it. So come to find out guys that uh I was downstairs getting us food and I didn't know. But um They popped my water. Yes, now kid uh they, they popped her water. She's at a seven, she got her epidural, she's feeling a lot better. Everything is going pretty good. Babe. 
We're going to 72 hours. Um, yeah, we've been here almost 72 hours. Yeah. It's like this hospital is really, it's been amazing. So everything is going pretty good. Everything that we thought like was, wasn't was going to work out is really been working out. And that's why we say like when you put your, when you, when you put your faith in God, Hey, can't nothing, can't nothing, you can't be stopped. You know what I'm saying? God makes stuff happen that you, stuff that we could have never planned for. Stuff, we came here unprepared for a lot of stuff and they came through as if like we had it planned and worked out. So, thank God for that, you know. So, all this has been a real good experience. Pretty soon, this will be full, and we will see the twin girls soon. You ready to get them out, babe? Yeah. And your stomach go all the way down? Yeah, that's how it looks now. Ooh, this is it, babe. And then it was like, she was saying, like, kind of, like, bulgy. This is it. So pretty soon you're gonna be back to you. I took over a year off. <laughs> the baby's heart rate. And they're doing pretty good. You're not excellent. Yep. Cause guess what? Whenever I had these babies, it's turn up time. Y'all don't even understand. Y'all just gonna have to see. Yeah, content about Cause y'all ain't seen me pop out for real. This whole time we've been on YouTube, you have been pregnant. But I ain't popped out. You ain't even seen me pop out yet. I didn't seen you pop out. Okay, you seen me pop out. <laughs> not for, but not the, not the way I want to pop out. But still, I see, I still seen you pop out. Yeah. That's just like me. Like that's why I keep telling everybody. Like after these babies, my my focus has been getting these kids together. But after these kids are together. It's up. And it's right, babe. So they just came and checked here and she dilated to eight. And it's currently 10 o'clock at night. So right now we're gonna try to get some sleep. And that she should start pushing by 12 or one or two in the morning. So by the time we come back on the camera, we should be going into delivery. We're gonna deliver in another room, so I'm gonna try to sneak a camera in there and set it up to record. But if I don't be able to, then yeah, just bear with me. But see y'all in the morning. Are we going to six or one? Baby Ace head is right there. So I think whenever you're ready, what you're oh. is gonna have the same bracelets, okay? Because they were born um, before 37 weeks, they're considered like late preterm baby girls. 
Um, so we just monitor their blood sugars extra close. They're sm on the smaller side, good size for twins. Um, we just want to make sure their blood sugars are always above 40. So I'll check it when they're one hour old, and then I'll check it when they're three hours old. And then um, also we'll do it at six hours of life. It's just something we monitor for the first early hours of life. So we'll get them on the breast and really just do our best to keep their blood sugars up. Okay. Okay. You have your cold. Feeling okay? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. This is your first baby girl. That's A. This is A. Hi, mommy. <laughs> we'll situate them a little better in the room. I just want them to be sorry. Secure for now. Hi, cute girl. Okay. And your sister's gonna go right next to you. You have twins. You have twins. Mm. Look sir. at you. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. How are you feeling, Mama? You got them you both? Okay? It's a lot of baby. They're both She's already ready. super hungry. We'll okay. get them over there. Oh, Lord. Yep. <laughs> yep. Ready? Ready? Congratulations. Thank you. This is Michaela for Crystal. Of course. Someone was asking if you were still in the OR. Okay. And I said we were on our way back. Okay. So feet first. Put first on with you. Oh, we can go out this door. Maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, over right here. <laughs> Got it now. Yeah. You okay? Yep. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, you're welcome. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. you. Yay. What time were the births? Um, it was 02:36 and 02:47. Okay. Oh, here. Uh, guide this one in the front. Yeah. Thank you. I don't think it's unsteer. Thank you so much again for seeing with them. We'll get them both on before I turn on, okay? You want to hold that one and I help? She's still okay? asleep. Okay. Oh, yeah, she didn't even wake up. And of course, he's up on his phone. <laughs> he's been awake. You can take all that off and they'll be ready. Oh, yeah, my, 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 my pants didn't feel five times. Does that feel comfortable for you to hold? Okay. You want to go sit down? <laughs> take a picture of the doctor. Like, listen, he was the doctor, guys. <laughs> right for real. <laughs> The story we tell is I delivered you guys and yeah, right? prove I didn't. <laughs> For real. How's it go? This one's working, Crystal. Yeah, let's see. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh my goodness. Now, who is this? This is her. This is her. How much does she weigh? Uh, seven pounds. Woo! Look at that mad face. Look at yeah, you. Yeah, she just like B. <laughs> so she thought I was like, ooh. <laughs> you know, she been repeating everything. I said, ooh, you can't say too much around her. <laughs> yeah. She repeats everything. Mm -hmm. uh, I was like, you okay? She was like, okay, yes. Hey, mommy. My baby. Yes, my babies. Bad. You see the babies? Yeah. You love them? You love your babies? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. they are beautiful. Hello. They're just sisters. She's keeping, look, she's keeping me awake. You want to hold them? You do? You want to hold your sister? You can hold them? Yeah. They bigger than you. Right. Look at <laughs> Your big sister, Courtney? And they got all that hair. That's your sister? Take them. 
Do you love them? Mm -hmm. And they're looking for some food. They just are sucking. Like her greedy. So what are you going to do with two? <laughs> she, she was greedy too. Cry. Like, they're crying? Yeah. Yes. So you're going to be telling me now that my baby's crying. I need to do Cry. You don't want me to let milk for the baby? Baby. Or oh, what about some crackers? You going to give them some of your crackers? Crackers. You want to go with daddy? Daddy. Okay, I'll you. see you later. I'll see you later. Yes, I'll be back to see you, okay? Okay. Okay. What do you She may not even really want that much, but you know, she might she might be super hungry. Which is also okay. Yeah, she is. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my kids are all, my kids are greedy. It's okay. She was the same. The babies are stable. They, um, they weight, I mean, not their weight, but they, their temperature is good and their sugar is good. And it did drop. And their sugar did drop, both of them. Um, and their temperature. It's supposed to be 40 and one was 30 and one was 19. Baby, baby. Baby, baby B, B was, was 19, 19 and baby A was 30 and then after they got uh after sugar. they ate and some sugar it jumps up to 60 to 60 high 60s. yeah yeah it was the high 60s for both of them and um, their temperatures were low their temperatures was like low a little much, bit but low. just a little just a little and then once they got under the yeah. of course the, the warmer and then wrapped them up in the blankets um their temperature got back to normal and then they turned the uh, thing to the lowest possible and just to make sure they can regulate they they own body temperatures because they is 35 weeks but everything is going good as soon as they're healthy they're breathing on their own they did not have to go to an IQ everything is going good and they're very calm so they've been laying here for like, what three hours huh? and they've been very chill so yeah so um, it's like six o'clock in the morning right now we're gonna try to Maybe feed them one more time, get some sleep a little bit, and then we'll, we'll update y'all again. It's your mama. It's your mama. <laughs> it's your mama. Mm -hmm. Come see her. So guys, right now, currently, we all packed up. We're getting ready to leave uh, labor and delivery. How you feel, babe? Her epidural is uh, then wore off already. She's able to uh, take a shower, stand up, and walk around, so. That's good. Right now she's just listening to baby breathing. <laughs> so we just found out that Anna's name is Amina, just like my niece Amina. Thank you. Thank you. So guys, we're about to go home. We're getting ready to check out. You know, of course, Mama says she only staying here for one day. She don't play that. 
but the babies checked out to be good. Um, they got all their scoring and all their testing done. Everything came out good. Um, baby A, twin A, she got a little photo light therapy last night. And what, last night or this morning? Uh, this morning. Yeah, so this morning. She got a little um, for jaundice or whatever. And mama got her placentas on ice. And we're about to transfer those to some new ice. Hey, baby. Yeah, so the twins are sleeping really good. We're about to load up. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for supporting. Thank y'all for sticking to the end of the vlog. If you did, we love y'all. And we got a lot more content coming up. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Follow all the social media in the link down below. Thank you for the prayers and the wishes and luck and all the things you guys said. You know, the people who have been watching and sticking with us. Yes. Appreciate you for that. Appreciate you guys. So, and I'm gonna make my, my right. own video. I'm gonna make my uh, other videos, so and I'm we'll make see you my later. Videos. <laughs> oh, shout, shout out to the nurses that uh, Nurse Nidra, Crystal, Jenny, at Miller, at Miller's Children Hospital, and, and Vanessa, Angie, Vanessa. And, okay, it's it's a couple more, but those are, those the, are the ones that we really like work for with. The, Black yeah, yes, they really pulled through. Like, they they made this entire visit situation crazy outstanding. They pulled things out of thin and air. Angie. Like, uh, yes, and Angie. The one who just yes, yes, and Angie. So like, they've been. They was a blessing. Yeah. They was a blessing. Like real talk. They even they come in. <laughs> Cross, you know what I'm saying? What we ought to check. They, yeah, they they jump in units to come and check on us. So that's love, man. That's a blessing. Like you don't you don't really find people like that every day. So if y'all come to Miller, y'all ask for them, and I promise you, your experience will be good. And Dr. Pray for you. Dr. Yes, Doctor You. Oh yes, I'm sorry, Doctor You. She was really good. Pray for heart, guys. Pray for who heart? Oh, okay. I'm thinking you said somebody. All right, he said. <laughs> <laughs> he said he praying for everybody without his heart. That's what he's trying to say.